In previous part we have made the body and now we will make hand. Select these loops, press Ctrl A to invert selection and press H. Select any face, duplicate it and place it on the fingertip. Select this face, extrude it and place it close to the root of the finger. Press X and select only faces. Fix the normals using Shift N. Add loop cut and place it around joint. Add another loop cut and place it around second joint. Select this part, duplicate it a few times and place it around the other fingers. Arrange vertices around finger tips, finger roots and joints. Fill gaps between fingers. Add loop cuts as shown in centers of fingers and in between them. Add loop cuts around fingers. Select this loop and extrude it. Add some loop cuts. Now we need to match number of vertices on both outer loops. Right now we have 32 vertices on fingers and 16 on wrist. Select these vertices oriented on paths between fingers and press F to make new faces. Fill gaps between new faces. Select path on the side, extrude it and fill gaps. Repeat with path on the other side. Now we have 20 vertices on outer loop, so we need to subtract 4 more vertices. Extrude this loop once and create 2 new faces. Complete this loop in the same way as earlier. And now we can use bridge. Add some loop cuts and use smooth brush. Now we can add geometry on fingers. Select path as shown and use inset. Use smooth brush. Enable proportional editing, add loop cuts on fingertips and pull them slightly forward. And then just use smooth brush. Add loop cuts in between fingers and use smooth brush. Now we can add details on joints and knuckles. Select vertices close to joints, expand selection with Ctrl numpad plus and make inset. Add loop cut here and make insets on knuckles. Add loop cuts close to every joint. And now use smooth brush.
Now we can make thumb. Smooth this part without snapping and select patch of faces around thumb. Extrude it and add one loop cut. Select smaller patch, extrude it and add one loop cut. Select four faces, extrude them and arrange vertices around the tip of a thumb. Add loop cut and place it around joint. Add more loop cuts and use smooth brush. And now we can add details in the same way as on other fingers. Select path of faces as shown and use inset. Add loop cuts on the fingertip and pull it forward. Use small brush. Select vertices close to joint and make inset. Do the same on other joint. Add loop cuts close to joints and use small brush. Merge shown vertices and use smooth brush. Select this vertex, expand selection and make inset. Hand itself is done and all we need to do is fingernails. Select this patch, set transform method to individual origins and disable snapping. Extrude this patch, scale it down and move it slightly inside. Extrude it up, move slightly forward and scale it up. Extrude it again and scale it down. Now we can do the same for other fingers. Our geometry is done, so now we can refine it in sculpt mode. To make cuticle, add loop cuts as shown. And move this path of faces forward. After some finishing touches, hand is done. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters.